WGEL News 8's Weather on the 8s with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Good morning. It is 618 on this Friday and we are off to a sticky Friday, but not a sticky weekend. I think the humidity will be dropping considerably tonight behind a cold front, yielding a cooler, more comfortable weekend for you. But I don't think it's going to be a sunny weekend. We'll definitely have some cloud cover. Best chance of rain comes in on Monday with a cold front. That should generally be early in the day on Monday. We'll time it out for you coming up. Here's the News 8 Storm Team forecast today, calling it partly sunny, morning sunshine, then a little more cloud cover this afternoon. Breezy, sticky, there could be a stray shower or thunderstorm as this front drops in. Tonight, increasing clouds, they'll come right back in, but not as muggy, 56 to 60, a little bit cooler overnight as well. And tomorrow, morning showers are possible, otherwise mostly cloudy skies, cooler, more comfortable temperatures in the upper 60s. What a change from the past two days where we hit 91 and then to only get into the upper 60s come tomorrow. Live in Hershey, we have 68 degrees for you. Winds are calm. The sky is mostly clear, and that's the way it is around the rest of the Susquehanna Valley. 69 degrees in Carlisle, a balmy 74 in York, 63 for Lebanon, and 68 degrees currently in Lancaster. Predictor dew points today say, yeah, it's still going to be a little sticky. You see these dew points in the mid 60s. However, here comes the cold front. That's going to alleviate the heat and humidity for us. Dew points fall to the 40s tomorrow to near 50 as we head into Sunday. Nice, comfy stuff coming back for you this weekend if you're not a fan of the sticky conditions. Here's a look at the weather and health report today. We have high levels of tree pollen and grass pollen in the air. Air quality still at moderate standards. The UV index today, it's a high one. Once again, nine it means a burn time of 15 minutes. So lather on the sunblock again today. Live on Super Doppler 8, not much to show you. We have a front nearby, but you can barely tell where it is. The cold front is draped uh, just off to our north and west right now, and once it passes through this evening, it may spark that isolated shower or thunderstorm. Let's time it out for you. Here's what the predictor says, and watch, it's quick. Here's your slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm as that front comes in. Front heads to our south this evening. We clear out, but only temporarily. I think clouds return overnight into tomorrow, and this is why I put showers in the Saturday morning forecast. You see this? Those are leftovers from some storms over Ohio the night before, so they may clip us Saturday morning. The rest of Saturday will feature mostly cloudy skies, cooler temperatures in the 60s. How about Sunday? Still mainly cloudy, but this warm front lifts north in the afternoon. May spark a shower. I think most of the rain, though, holds off until late Sunday night into Monday morning. Take a look at your forecast for the Rhubarb Festival. This is today, tomorrow at Kitchen Kettle Village in Intercourse, Lancaster County. 9 to 6 are your festival hours, and today is going to be the hotter half of the Rhubarb Festival. Your first pitch forecast for this evening, Barnstormers playing at home. Mostly sunny, breezy, cold front will be through. It will be more comfortable, and hey, there's fireworks after the game. And here's the extended forecast. We have temperatures in the 60s near 70 this weekend, 70s next week, and a couple of chances for showers in there. I'd say your best chance, though, is Monday. Okay. You know, I've never had rhubarb. Really? Rhubarb I've never pie? Tried some rhubarb never. Pie. I've never yeah. even tried it. I think I need to go. This it's an interesting looking, it looks kind of like celery. I know. Yeah. I, I kind of shied away from it, but I think <laughs> I might have to try it. There you go. All right. It's time. Just thinking that. <laughs> Sharing information. Usually you don't need. All right, let's get a traffic update. Let's go to Chris.